I have downloaded and saved 1300 images from Nordstrom.com, which is an online retailer in the United States, and uh, I've cla manually classified them into four different categories of necklines, crewnecks, scoopnecks, v-necks, and other. And I've created a neural network that um, classifies those items into those neck types. So let's jump into it. I'm taking, first I'm taking my images and I am resizing them to a standard size. So they're all, all of the same size. They were the same, that's, uh, most of them were a similar size to begin with, but let's make it all consistent first. And then I'm going into uh, cropping them to the area of the neck, essentially. Uh, that area that we will be analyzing. I am also, as I'm doing it, I'm also adding this, um, the label to the data so we can create labels um, uh, out of them for modeling later. So um, in this case, I have crewnecks, which have 298 um, images in them, and I've cropped them. And um, this is a, um, a, a demonstration of one of the items that is in the other category. I can do another item in the same category. This is um, an, uh, a colored shirt, which is neither of the other necklines. So it's in the other category. Um, and this is the original item. And now I can do, I think it was fifth, number 52. And this is the cropped item. So those are the, the kind of items that are going to be inputs for the neural network. Um, I've used some of this code to create uh, the, the grid layouts for the, for the items. I'm going to demonstrate one of them. So after I've um, got all of the, the classes, I've combined them and I've reshuffled them. So this is... Um, this is um, kind of a random, randomized grid of different items in here with the class names um, as titles. So you see a lot of, some of them are not very well pictured and some of them are much better pictured. So it's organic data as it came from the website. So now we're going into the uh, preparation of the model input. I'm going to use 20% validation sample. So 260 records um, are going to be in that sample. I'm not going to stratify it by the category type. So I'm just going to um, uh, crop 260 first records for it. Um, into that group, and um, because they've been reshuffled randomly, we should give a, get a good representation. Um, I'm going to use pandas get dummies function to create um, dummy variables, or as it's known, one hot encoding for uh, for the labels. Now let's go into the model. Because I have such a small data set, I've decided to go with a pre-trained model and I've used VGG16 model for it, which we've used in the class before. Um, I've loaded it with the ImageNet uh, weights and I've added a few layers to the model. I've added two dense layers and one dropout layer. The last layer has four neurons and a softmax activation function, which is the function that we should use for the um, categorical classification. Uh, the loss functions is categorical cross entropy, and my optimizer is RMS prop with a one ten thousandths uh, learning rate. So this is the summary of my model, of convolutional model, and then and this is the layers that I've added. I have 2 million uh, trainable parameters in here. And um, I'm going to use um, image augmentation. And reasoning for it, again, is small sample size. This is going to help me 
improve on the uh, on the number of images that the uh, network can analyze and train better. So I'm running the model for um, anywhere between five and ten epochs. Seem to be um, fairly optimal, which is a short time um, corresponding well to the the small sample size that I have and the complexity of the model. Um, the validation accuracy was a little bit wobbly, um, mostly because of the small validation sample size, only 260 photographs. So after I've trained the model, I've achieved um, a pretty good accuracy of about 83%. Uh, this is fairly reliable given um, that the images that I'm classifying are not are not super definitive. It's not like cats and dogs. This is some of those necklines are kind of in the middle. So this is excellent. I also um, uh, did this little code that does prediction of the um, of the item. So I can choose any item in the validation set, which is between 0 and 260 and uh, put it through the network, uh, get a prediction from it, and then see what the item is and what the uh, truth table shows us. So let's try that. Um, let's do 160. So this is a V-neck item, and the prediction is a V-neck. Let's try another one, maybe 190. Again, it's a V-neck, and the prediction is a V-neck. Excellent. OK, 200. This is a scoop neck, and the prediction is a scoop neck. 220. Again, um, the network is correct. So it's mostly correct. It's not correct every single time. Um, so this is. Um, this is my model and the visualization it produced. And thank you for watching this demonstration.